So here, um, uh, notice that uh, uh, even though I'm not in the admin role, uh, um, and, and because I'm not in the admin role, I don't see the admin link, nevertheless, I can navigate there if I know that the that the URL is a particular URL, right? and lets me navigate there. So, uh, so uh, what, what we need to do is protect uh, the navigation to be there, and we've seen how to do that already. Um, uh, we can do something similar to the way we protected the um, the uh, the home page, and we the way we protected the uh, the profile page. So let's do something similar to that uh, in the uh, for the admin. Okay, uh, so let's um, there it is. Uh, but, but not only do I need to know that you're, whether you're logged, uh, uh, whether you're logged in, right? It's are you logged in and are you in a particular role, right? And and those th that kind of logic, right, uh, should always reside on the on the server side, right? So just like there's a check logged in, we could also do a check admin, right? And uh, it's gonna it's gonna look very very similar to the uh, to the code that we already have um, for. Uh, for the check logged in, right? So let's copy that content uh, and uh, rename it to be check admin. Uh, and we could certainly grab some of this and put it all together, right? And and reuse some of this code. But let's let's do it this way, right? So it's going to go out to the server to see if you are an admin, and only the admin should uh, only the server should know these things. Uh, and uh, if uh, if it resolves, then it's going to let me uh, navigate to the uh, admin uh, page. Otherwise, it'll kick me back, maybe not to the login page. Maybe it'll kick me back to the home page, right? Um, uh, so so let's uh, let's write this piece of code in the client in the user client service. Um, so it would be here. Uh, let's let's add that functionality, and again, it's going to be very very similar to the check. Uh, logged in, right? So we're going to put it here. Uh, so I'm going to copy the logged in because the co the the implementation is going to be very similar, uh, but the name will be check admin. So check admin is going to go out to check admin on the server side, and the response we're going to send it back uh, to uh, the client, right? So meanwhile, on the server side, we're going to have to listen for that incoming request to check whether you're an admin or not. Uh, so it'll be something similar to this, but this will say check admin. Oops. Oh. There we go. Uh, and it's going to be very, very similar to the logged in, but the, so it's going to add just one additional, uh, one additional uh, criteria is that, well, not only are you logged in, but are you in the admin role, right? Um, we can... Um, we can we can uh, just uh, add uh, to this check admin uh, functionality. Are you are you logged in? Meaning, are you authenticated? Are you uh, is there somebody logged in and the current and the current user in the session? Right? Is their roles? The, does their roles list of roles contain um, contain the admin role in there? Right? Is this greater than minus one? And if so, then I will return the user object. Otherwise, no, I'm not going to. I'm going to kick you out uh, back to the home page or login page or error page or whatever you decide, right? Uh, so if we uh, refresh, uh, and um, notice that if I if I uh, try to reload this page, uh, notice that it's no longer allowing me to navigate there. Right? It's kicking me back to the uh, to the home page. Uh, and if I log in as uh, Poe. Or somebody who's not uh, who's not a uh, uh, an admin, right? And I try to navigate to admin because I uh, I saw in somebody's uh, URL, right? Notice that it kicks me back to the to the home page. Uh, so only if um, only if I actually log in as an as an as a an admin brand um, can I actually log into the go into the admin page. That makes sense. Uh, so, but but e even even so, uh, because a lot of the uh, b because the the logic of the navigation is is still contingent to what's going on on the client side. Uh, even so, right, as, uh, uh, a, a a clever JavaScript developer um, could 
you know, thwart the uh, browser into letting them navigate here, even though they're not supposed to be here, right? Because that's it's a client side, right? It's, it's uh, the the source code is available, everything's there, right? You can look at the um, there's you know all the all the logic is there, right? Um, and I can I can step through this, right? I can put breakpoints, uh, use the console to manipulate values, right, of variables as it's running. Um, so so I could I could uh, still uh, thwart this. Uh, ideally, our source code would not be legible like this, right? Ideally, our source code would look more like that. Okay, uh, certainly we would obfuscate our code, right? Uh, run it through some minifications, uglifiers, so that our source code looks really, really ugly. Our variable names make no sense. Our function names make no sense, right? Uh, so, so it would be very, very hard to somebody to you know, reverse engineer uh, our source code to be able to step through the code, right? Uh, but again, there are tools that um, uh, that that are pretty good at at reverse engineering source code. Uh, so, so certainly we have to take into account the fact that somebody might come into this admin page, nevertheless. Okay. Uh, so if they make it into the admin page, we want to uh, make sure that even if they get there, there's nothing there that they could see uh, because. It's always backed by some server-side logic. All right, so let's uh, let's let's work on that uh, next.